UK University faced growing struggle to recruit international students. Hey, I know you got all dressed up for the club. Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do wait to subscribe to the channel and also do not leave without hitting on that notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload new videos. Students are no longer coming to the country to study the way they used to, okay? So I'm going to read out this report exactly the way it is, but guys, before then, let's just look at some of the factors that could contribute to this, okay? Outside the policy that restricts international students from moving over to the country with their dependents, I personally I personally feel that there may still be other factors contributing to this. One, the exchange rate. Coming over to the United Kingdom to study is now on the high side. Talking about the financial part of it, okay? Because before now, if you have a certain amount of money, you could easily start the process and at the end of the day you find yourself that you get, you know, admission into one of these schools, then apply for visa to come over. But guys, Recent times, I'm being honest, is no longer the way it used to. First of all, the exchange rate is on the high side. For instance, when I came to this country, 2021 through 2022 academic section, okay, I remember vividly that the exchange rate as a then, talking about my country, Nigeria, okay, was 560 to one pound, okay? But guys, today, that same exchange rate is over 2,000 naira to one pound, okay, in the space of two years. Okay, before now, if someone budgets like 20 million, 30 million, okay, as the physical cash, the cost of moving over to the United Kingdom to study, you know, on a particular course for one year, okay, it's a little bit easier. And at the end of the day, that budget may likely take the person very far, okay, like coming over and then you keep working and taking care of yourself and your family. But guys, today, if you convert 20 million, for instance, okay, with this rate you are seeing, this is today's rate, okay, you'll be getting less than 10,000 pounds, okay, and you're expected to pay huge deposit. And that will take me to another part of the factor that I personally think is contributing to this, okay? Universities are even taking their school fees high. Their tuition fee is on the high side. People have been struggling to see how they could meet up, you know, paying up like 15000 14000 Not until I came across this particular one, international students will pay over £35,000 on a one-year course. So imagine someone in Nigeria trying to come over to United Kingdom to study just one-year course. It means that that person will be paying school fees of over £70 million just for one year. You see the reason why it seems nobody wants to come over to the country to study, okay? Why I'm saying this is because universities now are crying out that international students are no longer coming over to United Kingdom to study. Rather, they choose to go to other places like Canada, USA, and the rest. This is not just because they stop them from coming over to the country with their dependents. Because there are still people that are not married. There are still like single people that ordinarily would have loved to come over to United Kingdom to study. Okay, There are so many people like that. But they are still considering the financial aspect of it. You don't expect someone to pay this huge amount of money just on a one-year course. But guys, all these things varies. It depends on the school you are intending to go to and, of course, the course you are applying for. But then, personally, I feel that paying as high as £35,000 on a one-year course that is not even PhD, on a personal note, I feel that is a little bit high. Let's see what this article is saying about this whole thing. It says, UK University faced growing struggle to recruit international students. UK universities face financial turmoil as figures from the Home Office show bonging numbers of international students applying for courses starting in the next academic year. Application for sponsored study visas have fallen by 28% suggesting the visa restriction applied by the previous government continue to hamper recruitment. The Home Office received 28,200 applications last month, compared with 38,900 in June 2023. So it's about 10,000 applications difference, okay? When they try to compare it like June this year and that of last year. So they are having deficits of over 10,000 applications, like a decline in student visa application. Most student visa applications are received 
over the summer, leaving many universities hoping that things will improve by September. But more recent data shown to the guidance suggest the sector will continue to struggle. A service used by international students for managing universities enrollments said data from 31 UK universities shown falls of 41% in deposits and acceptance by international students up to the start of July. This is a recent data. It was published on the 13th of July, 2024. The fall was particularly high in postgraduate taught master's courses and by 55% compared with 2023. According to Eroli, while undergraduate members were down by 23%. Since January, international students taking taught postgraduate course or undergraduate degree have been unable to bring family members or dependents on a student visa. As I tell you this, it's not just because of this. I am telling you on a personal note. If you agree with me, leave your thoughts on the comment section. Jeff William, Ironews chief executive, said the latest data shown that international student recruitment for September had been on a downward trend since the start of the year. Our UK university colleagues are working tirelessly to continue to attract international students to their programs. I think another way they should do this Personally, if you ask me, I suggest they try to reduce the tuition fee. Yes, I understand that there are some universities here that actually have, you know, lower tuition fee. Most of these universities, you agree with me that, that they even increased their tuition fee this year recently with all these happenings around. One positive note is that the intake appears to be catching up month to month from a very slow start. It remains to be seen where the final year-on-year -year numbers from September will land. In 2021 stroke 2022, there were more than 240,000 full-time international students starting thoughts postgraduate courses and 104,000 undergraduates. If running figures are representative of the sector, about 150,000 fewer international students would arrive on UK campuses this autumn. With many universities reliant on the income from international tuition fees and tuition fees for UK students remaining frozen in England, experts warns the combination spells trouble for the sector. Mark Cover, the chief executive of Data HE, a higher education consultancy, said the reliance on international student fees was a symptom of the previous government's failures to increase domestic tuition fee from £9,250 for nearly eight years. That's caused a huge financial distortion that has driven universities to raise income by other means. Cover said, August A-level results would be crucial for the financial health of universities. If better exam grades encourage more school leavers to go to university, that would offset the expected losses from international students. This article was amended on the 17th of July. It was actually published on the 13th of July, but amended on the 17th of July, 2024. Of course, these international students would rather go to other countries where they will pay less deposit, where they will pay less tuition fee, and even be allowed to move in with their dependent. Please leave your thoughts, leave your opinion on the comment section of this video, and I will be there waiting for you. Please do well to like this video, share this video, and do not go without subscribing to the channel if you have not done that already. Thank you again for watching, and I remain blessing and mother of blessed blessing channels. Thank you. Bye.